So let's talk about signal measurements. Microsoft has a cute little uh, triangular bar at the bottom with little bars. So I think there's five there, I think. Uh, there's five? All right. So it's like good or poor, it's very good, excellent, low. Oh, excellent? Yeah, excellent. If you get them all, yeah, because if you're this far away, it'll say excellent, right? <laughs> So yeah, so they give you a little bar with these cute little terms, but in the real uh, radio world, people don't use good, fair, and <laughs> excellent. They use a unit of measurement called an RSSI, Relative Signal Strength Indicator or Radio Signal Strength Indicator, depending on what you read. That number is a negative value. I'll make it easy for you. The closer you get to zero, the louder the signal, more energy. The closer you get to 100, the weaker the signal, less energy. So let me ask you something. You want your signal to be closer to zero or a hundred? What do you want? Zero. Closer to the zero side, right? Obviously not zero, but closer to that scale, right? What about noise? Do you want that at zero or a hundred? Yeah. So you want signal low and you want, I'm sorry, signal zero and you want noise a hundred. Get it? You want an inverse. Some vendors will actually combine those and give you a signal to noise ratio fine. Every vendor's got their own cool things, CCQ, quality value, like they've got all sorts of cool little things, but that's the basics. So when we look at some of these tools, we're going to look at these values. What's the noise floor? What's the signal strength? 